I'm so sad. Oh, You're practicing your moves against the invisible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you when you spy a much more visible threat. Yo, fuck hammer, I need your advice about something. Do you know what the most powerful force on Earth is? Stronger than anvils or s uh, anvils or swords or my nine-pack abs? Oh. It's love. Oh. And I think I might just oh. be in it with your buddy Amps. Oh my! And sure, love is already hardcore just because the feelings are so strong and that's BADASS! But the love will be doubly as strong and badass if it turns out that Amps is as hardcore oh. as I think she is. And of course, there's really only one way to judge a person's true soul. You know her pretty well. Do you know what her inner murder weapon would be like? <laughs> um, duh, of course you do, but <laughs> by which you mean you're happy to totally make it up on the spot. So, now's the time to decide Amps' fate. Fun, right? Don't be a dick, unless you want to, in which case, totally go for it. Ma major cardiovascular diseases. Ah! I want to cry. Um, Amps is the ultimate murderer, the leading cause of death worldwide, and something capable of catching up in a tough motherfuckers who have survived everything else. An electric chair, that's how boring Amps is. She would just be standard government regulated death. I'm so sad with both of these. These both depress me. Well, the first one sounds more exciting. But yeah, obviously I'm going to say the first one, even if it hurts. Oh. Damn! I wouldn't have even thought of that. If major cardiovascular diseases were a knife, they would be the sharpest and deadliest knife ever. If they were a sword, they would be two katanas. If they were a gun, there would be an atomic bomb. Wow, a cardiovascular disease was raging at Amps this entire time and I never even knew it. That's confusingly worded to say the least. But luckily, since you were the one who started this metaphor, you know that Amps isn't likely to die. Yay! Unless she is dying to go to prom with Damien, in which Yay. case, bam, you're welcome, Amps! Yay. Oh, I can't, okay, okay. I'm so miserable though. Oh, look at no. my look at my stats. Everyone chooses a celebrity. Say your choice out loud to rest players before clicking. Britney Spears. Orlando Bloom. I was like, of course, of course. I almost was like, can I pick a YouTube celebrity because that's I'm more versed mm. in YouTube celebrities? But I'm like, you know what? No, I'll go with traditional. So I picked the most basic answer. <laughs> okay. How likely it is that the selected character is secretly part of a cult? Britney Spears is definitely secretly part of a cult, though. <laughs> okay, I don't know much about that. <laughs> I'll take your word on it. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're going first. Okay. If I had to pick between the two, definitely Britney Spears. That's why she shaved off all her hair that one time. It was part of the initiation oh. into the cult. Um, well, I haven't been to the gym, so going to the gym. Go. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. Cute. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. Nice. The game was so close. The other team demands a rematch. This one goes way worse. Your team is down to just you and Damien. Damien saved me because I'm horrible at sports. <laughs> the other team has all the balls except for the one you're holding. Ooh. We're boned. Time to just cover our nuts and let them get it over with. I don't have nuts. <laughs> I mean, I'm only in this game so I can accidentally hit people in the face. I'm not, like skill. And it's not like you guys have some s sort of super secret ultimate dodgeball tricks hidden up your ass, right? Actually, you do! You take a deep breath and bust out your ultimate technique. The five point... The five point ball exploding heart technique or a gun. Um... Well, does the exploding heart... Is that connected to the cardiovascular <laughs> But then I know he likes guns! I know! Like, I don't know if- is it actually an exploding heart, because that's metal, or is it, like, magical girl heart? Oh! Like, I'm not sure, because that was what I first thought, but I'm like, but maybe if it's more literal exploding heart, that would be more. Hmm. But then gun. 
does like guns, but it, I don't know, it's uninspired. You are creative, so maybe you should pick the more creative one. True. I think maybe he would like both, maybe, but no, I don't know. I don't want to lead you the yeah. wrong way. Hmm. You choose, you choose. I'm losing this game, so. Five point ball exploding heart technique. I see, yeah, I am worried it'd be like a cute heart thing. Malay, malay, cute. So I think I'm gonna try the gun. Okay. We'll see what happens. Ah, uh, yes. Most po oh, sorry, you're supposed to be- Oh, that's okay. Ah, yes. The most powerful dodgeball technique of all. Gun! You draw your weapon and fire wildly at the opposing team. They all try to take cover behind their dodgeball, but dodgeballs are made of rubber and are therefore terrible cover. Luckily for them, they're all undead, or at least mythical beast immune to conventional weaponry, so no one dies. Your senseless violence does distract them long enough for Damien to eliminate their whole team, though. They say never bring a knife to a gunfight, but they never said to not to bring a gun to a ball fight. That's technically true. You have to stay late to clean up the carnage, but you still gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Let's do this. Time for me to suck again. Okay, I'm gonna go to the auditorium this time. Because I want some creativity. Oh, I'm still so boring though. Oh, nice! A day while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses, to be exact. Damn, roses aren't a valid currency or stat in this game. Anyway, you check your converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Hmm. Seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet, you gain two creativity. The artists are finally leaving after the encore and you're ex exiting the auditorium with everyone else. On your way out, you notice Liam in the last row, scribbling viciously in his notebook. <gasps> uh, <laughs> this is so mainstream, so condescending. The actors were played by actors. There was no meta. I do like meta. Where is the angst of social media? Have you seen how that pale excuse for a thespian attempted to interact with viewers? And the language! Excuse me, but thou and thee are officially over once I turn in my notes. <laughs> Obviously you didn't enjoy this murder of a theater itself. How would you fix this crime against art? Well, I have no stats, so whichever one I pick is gonna be a horrible, awful, disaster oh. mess. The audience is the villain. Destroy them from the stage, hack their social media, import the fires of hell. As they choke on brimstone and spam, they'll realize that they were the monster all alone. People like shit. Real costumes, cardboard boxes. Professional actors, giggling cheerleaders. Give Scott the leading role. Substitute the orchestra with dubstep and make it a musical. The problem is, well... <sighs> My stats, like I said, my stats mm -hmm. suck. I feel like both of these, again, both of these would work. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of like different. Like this is more like the, um, I feel like this would be more creative and mm -hmm. this would be more maybe boldness, which I do have some boldness. Mm -hmm. And there is a meta aspect to this, kind of. This one's like really like too deep for you, but to the extent that it's almost too serious, and I feel like he <laughs> wouldn't like that. Oh, I keep kicking. Oh, the pop filter. By the way, <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, that might be- this might be considered too mainstream, though. Like, especially because yeah. there's dubstep. <laughs> yeah, that's true. This one's definitely much more interesting. Yeah. You know what? Since when I was reading it, I'm like, that's interesting. I'm gonna go with that. Not so creative. Attempting to shock an audience with the visceral and carnal is what brought about the demise of theater in the first place. Should I desire to satisfy my bloodthirst, I can just visit- Oh, should I desire to satisfy my bloodthirst, I can just visit Damien. And lust is abundant in our WC, thanks to Polly. Room for realism in what? the same age you killed theater. You lose two smarts and one creativity. I actually thought that was the good answer, though. 
What? I, I had my doubts. I should have I should have listened to my gut. <laughs> oh wait. Who is most likely to be hiding corpses in their basement? I can't argue you. <laughs> at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it would be more me. And I can tell from your expression you agree with me, but you just don't want <laughs> no, to say it. No, because I you're too nice, and <laughs> thus, you're too nice to have bodies in your basement. <laughs> I'm moving, I'm I'm in those shoes. Well, hey, it's time for me to fail the last week. No, no. I'm gonna fail this I game so hard, this. and I'm so upset. No, I Okay, where's... He's the, in the middle, yeah, there too. we go. Hey, Polly's here, too, which I also like, and... That was I, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of between Polly and I guess we'll see how Polly is here because I was kind I'm kind of between when I go when we play again oh. either playing doing Polly or Vera that's right honestly I mean Damien's cool but honestly I don't like any of the other guys so oh. I don't think I want to go back for any of the guys so yeah I definitely want to pick one of the girls for the next one. And I'm kind of between Polly and Vera, but we'll see. We'll see how okay. Polly is when we talk to her. But yeah, because I don't need to choose now. Why am I? <gasps> if I'm Polly and Lee, I'm not eating as usual, you know, because they're undead. You know, the food in this cafeteria is really atrocious. It's hardly even worthy of my Instagram. <laughs> what? I don't even eat the food. See, this is exactly what I mean. We could do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-off. What? No. Did you say something? I'm not listening because I'm so psyched about this cook-off. At no point did I agree to... I've got a huge advantage, though, because I've cooked so many drugs. Oh, you think you've got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. <laughs> He's so smug. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. Two celebrity chef judges appear to critique oh. the <laughs> challengers. Wow. wow, where'd they come from? I think they're both equally horrible, says the cruel British judge. <laughs> I think they're both equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. Both judges turned you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge? Whose meal it truly is the cat's pajamas? I mean, obviously I'm going to go with Liam's, <laughs> but is he going to hate me because I'm not creative enough? Liam's because I think the glass jar of fresh human blood really goes with the parsley he sprinkled on top. Polly's because she literally just made a pair of pajamas for cat. Are, are you supposed to eat the pajamas and the cat? Oh, I, I. I mean, I love cats, but that's all the more reason. Like, are you so? Are you supposed to be eating the cats because I don't like that? Oh, that's that's a fair point. I actually like the taste of blood, though. Yes. Yes, there's something I should be putting out on the internet. I enjoy the taste <laughs> of blood. Like when I, I just feel like if I have a cut, I'll like fucking and be like, hmm. Yummy. <laughs> She's a vampire. I'm a vampire. <laughs> ha! In your face! Wolfgang suck! That would be a better name for Scott. I'm not even a wolf. As a matter of fact, that would be a better name for you. Oh, what? Because I'm a vampire? Whoa, that would totally make sense. No, I just meant because you suck. Whoa, this sucker just wowed the judges with my blood tartare. It's raw, organic, free-range blood, unethically sourced from a local terrified human. <laughs> and that parsley, farm to- to farm, I'm like, to farm table. totable. Farm to table, or rather farm to blood. I threw it in the blood. I liked the color. Actually, it's well known that nobody knows what parsley tastes like. And you probably never will, because you're certainly not drinking any of that concoction. You tell Liam his prize for winning the cook-off oh. is eating lunch alone with you, Slurp Slurp. Slurpy! Okay. I'm still, I'm still sad, though. Ooh. I like the This mysterious cat creature. It's like a tiger? A tiger, let's see what he's all about. You find Scott and Damien shoveling hot dogs and mashed potatoes into their mouths while Coach cheers them on. Oh, that's the coach. Do you want to be the coach? 
Or should I be? I'll, 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 mm, I'll be the coach. Okay. Go, boys, go. Munch your way, your way to victory. There, ah, there's no truer sport than a, an eating contest. Fence! Crotch! Oh, sorry, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> it looks like it's a pretty fair fight so far, but where's the fun in that? Time to step in and tip the balance. Distract Scott with surprise fireworks. Slather Damien's dogs in holy, holy ketchup. Well, I want to help Damien. So yeah, you would so, sabotage Scott. Die, Scott! What the hell? You were planning on setting off these fireworks in here anyway. Oh, what the hell? You were planning on setting oh. these fireworks in here anyway. You let them rip. Hey, 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 stop that! Who did that? Who's making noise? I'm yelling because I'm scared! <laughs> Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they found us, Scott. The Viet Cong. Oh, lordy, it's now I'm all over again. Scott and Coach flee the cafeteria. Damien lets out a sigh full of equal parts relief and mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. I was just eating like I normally do oh. when those idiots, two idiots came over and turned into a spore. It's not my fault I eat so fast. I've got a literal furnace in my stomach. Oh. Damien lets you have some of his half-chewed hot dogs. Nice. Indirect kiss. Uh, oh. Some would say that's almost like me. Oh, see, someone- Yeah, indirect kiss! <laughs> some would say that's almost like making out with him. Yay. I guess. Every chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um. Phantom of the Opera. Labyrinth. Uh, <laughs> where it watch a porn based on. Well, they're. But Labyrinth has like Muppet creatures in it. I know, but it's also got David Bowie. But Muppet creatures. <laughs> but David Bowie. <laughs> he was my first crush. Jareth in the Labyrinth was my first crush ever. But I mean. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera is a romance already, so, and I'm sure there are plenty, plenty of porn yeah. made after it. So I, I guess, I guess, Labyrinth. It's weird that I'm trying to argue against my <laughs> own, because... <laughs> reasons? Ah, uh, evening, ah... Uh... Do you see my stats? Do you, like, actually see my stats, though? Well, at least you're bold. <sighs> mm. I don't know what to do. Um... Let's go to the bathroom, because... I'm garbage and I need to go no! into the waste bin in there. Ooh, look at that. Look yeah. at that sassy stance. She's like, mm, yeah. That day you visit the bathrooms to take a number two. Don't worry, there won't be an illustration <laughs> for that specific moment. Thank you. Athena, as you make one of the boldest decisions in your life, oh. you don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Look at you, you crazy <laughs> bastard. You gain plus two boldness and probably plus one... Staphylococcus with a slight tans of plus one STD. Huh. Lately, you've been being cute with Liam, but in an ironic sense. And he seems to tolerate you, which is like third base for Liam. Oh. So tonight, you're having a picnic at the graveyard. It's like a date, except it totally isn't a date because dates are super cliche. But it's totally a date. Oh, yes. It's time! You're gonna kiss oh. him! You've practiced a lot with your pillow, which might or might not be a body pillow customized with a real, real size full body picture of Liam. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Here you go. You know what, TK? I've been thinking about the concept of kissing. And not because being with you makes me think about kissing. But don't you think kissing is such an outdated and vulgar concept? Your best way of showing your feelings is by putting your mouth over another person's mouth. I have wondered this before, though. Like, who was the first person who was like, you know what? Let's press mouths together because we have feelings for each other. Huh. 
I'm just curious, like how, what, yeah. what was that like? It was it just like naturally you felt like doing it? Cause I feel like you kind of get taught to kiss quote unquote long yeah. before you actually would ever have any of those feelings. Huh. So you almost just kind of expect it, but is it a natural urge? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. But if he's gonna come up with a creative thing instead of kissing, I'm so into that. <laughs> but you wanted to put your mouth over his mouth, God damn it! <laughs> come on, DK, prom is just around the corner. Quickly, think of a never before seen way of showing your feelings to Liam. Don't oh. show your feelings, say your feelings! Being figurative is for cowards. Real winners are always literal. Show Liam your feelings. Huh. Singing is way too mainstream. <laughs> yeah. Like that's that's musicals five thousand times over. True. Where I guess if I'm just straight up literal, there's kind of a meta to that that he might like. True. I'm gonna lose either way. Oh, I'm bold though! Yay! You're ready to show Liam your feelings. Too bad you sometimes mess up oh, your words. No. You show oh. him your fillings instead. Your marvelous collection of pie fillings. What's this? I love it. I'm so exhausted of people trying to show me their feelings all the time. It's as if I was a character in a dating sim or something. <laughs> but this? No one has ever showed me their fillings. I do like pie. Probably because no one actually has fillings like these. They're too busy dealing with their stupid bland feelings, which lack the ability of these fillings to make a pie delicious. Somehow this excites me quite a bit. What do you say to going back to my place to check out your fillings? <laughs> I, I technically don't eat, but I'm sure we could use we could uh, oh, we, we could find <laughs> we could find a use for them anyway. <laughs> ha! Who needs feelings when you have fillings? Wow. Also, now you got plus two charm and plus Yay! one creativity. Good job. I'm taking a vampire home! <laughs> hmm. Or I guess I'm going to his home. He, I'm not taking him. Whatever. Um. See, I, I've never been to the library, but does the library only give you money? Yeah, that's what I was wondering and why I was kind of like, I don't know if I even want to go there again. So and Maybe it, you should check it just yeah, to see. Because this is the last. Well. This is the last thing. True. So, and you have, like, everything. True. Except Let's... for money. That day you spend some time on the library's PC sending malicious spam emails in hopes of stealing other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant <laughs> scam? You lose minus 10 karma, which isn't even a stat in this game, so who cares? <laughs> plus two money. You're daydreaming about how Damien would look walking down the aisle towards you. When you see Damien walking down the aisle, hallway, towards you! Yo, so listen. Don't be uncool about this or make it a big thing, but... Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I think oh. you're pretty rad. Like, maybe even as rad as I am. I, I am pretty rad. So I thought it oh. might be sweet if we could, you know... Uh, yeah. Do some crime together! Oh, crime! Would you be into that? I mean... Could you even fucking handle that? Um, yes, of course you could, and would, and should. What kind of crime are you into these days? Quick, suggest the most badass and romantic crime for an excellent date with Damien! Tax fraud and light treason. Dinner and a movie, only the dinner is arson and the movie is also <laughs> arson. Arson is fires, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, then that's, that's what I'm going for. Arson and arson? Sounds like my kind of night. Damien picks you up and presents you with a bouquet of matches and lighters, which you blush and happily accept. <laughs> you smile demurely as Damien pulls out a chair for you and then sets it on fire. You confidently order off the menu for both of you before setting both menus on fire. After a delicious meal, the two of you flirtily squabble over whose absolute pleasure it would be to pick up the check as the flames rage high all around you. <laughs> Ready to head out for... More arson? Oh, yes! Heck yeah, you are! The two of you head to a movie, immediately setting your ticket stubs on fire. You take your seats and set the row in front of you on fire. You talk throughout the previews as the flames leap higher and higher, bathing you in a romantic glow. It's the hottest state of all time in so, so many ways. <laughs> hey, I had a really nice time tonight. The only thing better than the arson oh. was the more arson. Oh. 
Is he actually blushing or is that just the heat from all of the mud? There's so much arson. <laughs> OMFG, the state was literal fire, but no, like actual literal fire. You gain plus two charm and one plus boldness. The monster prom draws near. <laughs> Will you ask to prom? Who's someone I never talk to? <laughs> myself, none of them. I can just go by myself. I mean, hey, why not? Honestly, why not? Um, if it wasn't for me putting so much work into Liam, mm. I might I might choose that. But I like who did I not inter I did not interact with her at all. So it'd be funny if I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go with this person <laughs> I've never talked to. Anyway. Oh, ironic. <laughs> Cry. Ask Liam to the prom. <laughs> yes. Honey. Hey noob. <laughs> hey noob. <laughs> You're yes. a noob at prom. No! Actually, actually. I'm the noob at prom because I've never been to a prom. Well, I'm, uh, let's do this. I've only been one, so that's hardly. Finally, <laughs> pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. You and me? Psh. I'm. What? I'm not attracted to you in that way. Actually, I think the only way I'm attracted to you is through the tiny gravitational force that your body has as a solid mass. I mean, he's, he, 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 that's true. You actually do have a gravitational force, do you know that? Maybe? Mm hmm Oh. <laughs> that's something, right? <laughs> Are you serious? I got the epic loser achievement. No! No, I'm so sorry! Who needs prom? You focused on your career goal of becoming a renowned surgeon. You studied hard and passed all the tests. Unfortunately, no hospital wanted to hire you because it turns out that going to prom with a cool date is an essential requirement on a surgeon's resume. And so you never got a job, and in the end, you became homeless. Don't even dare to think the monster prom isn't important. Oh, wow, that's too real! That is me in no, real life! No, no one will ever love me! No! Now you're going to get a real job! No! No, Liam! I will... Me and Damien are going to burn your house down to get our revenge! This is all a cat's fault! I know! I hate her! I know! Is there an option where I can murder her? <laughs> Me and Damien can put her on fire for you. Please. Burn down her shop. Okay. You finally pick up- Oh, you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so out of it because no. I'm just like so sad. No. Prom? Burning stuff and committing murder might be badass. Fucking metal. But nothing is as badass as following your heart and believing unapologetically in love. Oh. Let's do this. Let's live our lives with zero regrets. Prom, here we go. Let's set the world oh, on I like me. my dress. I like his outfit too. You got the Casanova thing. The Casanova achievement. There we go. Prom was great. You crashed your limo into the wall of the school and it was... The best entrance ever! Everyone, everybody had a great time dancing under the lovely light of a car on fire. I'm most likely to become a lasagna. Do you like lasagna? Not really. Oh! Most likely to work in something no one understands. Which I kind of find attractive. But, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd, abs, ab, ab, mm. absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling our friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. You know what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you know what? Like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Demon loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a super legal affair and oh, he ended no. up in prison for arson. Fortunately, prison was flammable. Liam kept doing art so hard that he eventually evaporated and became the concept of coolness itself. As he left the physical plane, the last thing Liam did was give everyone a condescending look. Scott became a world-renowned athlete, but he ended his career to come back to his hometown and take on the job of the athlete he admired the most. Now he's back at high school again, working as the coach. For those three weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, gone just like that. 
The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, you're young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Rock out, rock out, rock out. <laughs> Is that Slenderman? It looked like it. <laughs> it looked like Slenderman. Huh. So I'm the worst. No. So I'm horrible. No, no one is ever going to love me. No. I'm going to be forever alone, forever. Even in video games, no, no one wants me. No. I mean, you could try again and get him. I guess, but I kind of like I, I when we play, I want us to play different characters oh, and go true. for different characters. And like I said, I'm kind of between Vera and Polly. I kind of want to play this guy. Okay, yeah. I liked, um... The zombie guy? Yeah. Okay. So that works out. So, because those are the two other characters, yeah. right? Yeah. And so... I wanted to go for the princess. Uh-huh. Oh, look, she's Princess Daisy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll decide if I'm going to go with Polly or Vera. Definitely avoiding the cat. Definitely avoiding the cat! I mean, it was the cat's fault, not your fault, that you lost. No, it's my fault for being an idiot no. and picking a gift that was free. It was free. I should have known better. I mean, I probably would have did that too. <laughs> oh, Holy aww. Aww. That's adorable. You just unlocked an erotic fanfiction about dragons. This is about to get weird. I've unlocked 10 new images in the gallery. Ooh. Ah, I gotcha. Mm. <laughs> Ew, he's a... Oh, but it shows my character. Oh, okay. Oh! Yeah, I guess you can, like, flip oh, through all the people. Oh, that's nifty. So then you can get, yeah, all the results. I like this guy's... Yeah! <laughs> oh. I'll never be left! Oh. Okay, wait, how do you go? Let me go back. Oh, how do I? Eh, 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 oh, eh, okay. That's fine. I got confused as to where I was. So that's Monster Prom. Yes. I'm sad. No. I am legitimately oh, no. sad. I'm sorry. Cry will never love me. No. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> So yeah, we'll probably play again and go for every, every everything different. Yeah. Everything different. Like the choices that we make in terms of like the stats and everything. Okay. We can't we gotta we gotta make a new character completely. Okay. We can't do ourselves. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so then we have a, a more unique experience. And apparently, yeah, it's like randomized and so many different endings okay. and everything like that. So you can play this like over and over and okay. over again. That's cool. So We'll definitely be back because that was fun, even if oh, I am no, unlovable. No. But of course, Amber is a sweetie angel and everybody I, loves her and wants I to be with her forever. I might do horrible on the next round. <laughs> You're gonna, that, that princess character is basically you, except for <laughs> you're a lot nicer than her in terms of not being a brat. Yes. So, I mean, I think you can win her heart pretty easy. I hope. <laughs> but on that note, uh, remember to shine your light in every world. Yes. Bye. Bye. Nobody loves no. me. No.